I would say this, yes. Uh, when we are talking about issues of good governance, so Kenya is, and even our own politics, I would say that uh, the extent to which we also witness politics in this country is, is in many ways very disheartening. Because you will find much of our politics is focused more on sabotage, backbiting, and a lot of fitness in the body politics. And if you really look at the main battle lines between the bodies, it is because it is between those who may perform and those who are no, who have no commitment to serve the public interest. Anybody who knows very well, like the politics of, uh, for instance, if you really look at the last two elections in this country, we have witnessed in some region of this country some persons being pinpointed for removal from any political office. I may not really want to say that I am one of those things, although I believe that is really what happened. The only reason this will happen is because when you are seen not to be part, part and parcel of certain vested interests that have nothing to do with genuine interest of the public in this country. You become an enemy of so many people and you become a target for political emulations. It reaches a point where you also see politics being organized to disorganize certain religions to ensure that they don't get the best, uh, the best in terms of leadership that they are entitled to to usher in their program. I will tell you that in the last election, you really look at a cross section of the outcome of those elections. It is as if some of the best performing persons were clearly targeted for removal. Have in mind some governors, I don't want to name names, but you know them. Governors who are performing and the outcome is that such that at the next election they immediately removed. And when certain political characterizations are made around, you can hear that there is a lot of there is a lot of protest being done. But what I can really tell you, it is also known, democracy does not always deliver the best outcome. It's only that it is the best with uh, two more. As Churchill Ch once said, you only need to talk to an ordinary citizen for you to have an assessment of what democracy has, can potentially do. But over, we know that democracy and the vigilance to do, do a democratic values is the best test to ensure that the public vibrantly participate in public space and so that they can unearth and you to discover their errors and also even those who have cheated uh, in any one, one election so that we can always re revisit their decision and keep improving themselves. We are very encouraged to see the young people taking keen interest in politics in this country. It is very, it's a very positive development. Those who have a grudge on the enthusiasms of young people can only be because they fear their participation could have repercussions and consequences that make their political survival not very assured. And those who possibly will come after them. And we are, when you also see the effect of Failed leadership, the effect of failed leadership is such that it can only spark enthusiasm and interest, of course, through agony and pain of bad leadership. And uh, the overall effect is this that historically, the arc of justice will tilt in favor of those who are for the public and for, for the people. We cannot, the, 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 the population cannot be held to ransom. Endless and respective of time, they will draw their lesson 